What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those who are new here, hello and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, hey girl. So today we are going to be doing our meal plan for the week of the 15th through the 21st. Um, we always start off with our dinner plans. I typically plan out all of our dinners for the entire month. That way, when a week comes up, I'm not like irritating everybody with, what do y'all want to eat for dinner? You know what I'm saying? So this is just what works for me. You know, obviously we have Thanksgiving coming up. So next week will be a lot easier. But for next week, definitely be on the lookout. I will be showing you guys how I am planning for the holiday as far as grocery shopping, y'all. For those who have been here, y'all know that I film in my basement. I didn't realize that the washer was on. So I apologize for the noise in the back. But yeah, anyways, so look, be on the lookout for that because I will show you guys how I am preparing everything for Thanksgiving dinner, going to the store, uh, prepping my dishes that I will be preparing, so on and so forth. But for right now, we are going to be doing this week's meal prep. So um, I went on ahead and pulled out the flower power book. I don't know why, but I was feeling florals today. And I think I might go with, I don't know, I'm stuck between the dark florals or the vintage botanicals. I'm thinking vintage botanicals may be the move. So let's go on ahead, put that off to the side. Let's pull these pages out and get started. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is lay down some stickers because that's the fun part. All right, so let's see. Definitely want to use some of these guys. I think this will give us a nice little vibe. So actually, I'm just going to pull this whole page out because... I'm just gonna try to use up what I got in here.
All right, so now that we have all of our stickers laid out, let's go through what I'm planning to do this week. So in previous weeks, I will put up here some ideas that I wanna do for breakfast. I decided I'm not gonna do that because I don't always adhere to whatever it is that I'm planning on doing for breakfast. So to be honest, I think I'm just going to log what I have for breakfast and that'll be it. Friday and Saturdays are kind of up in the air typically, so I don't mind that that is covering up that spot, but I ended up splitting this sticker in two. That way I do have some writing space the first part of the week. And then as for lunch menus, let's talk about it. So, I have an idea that I want to do, which is like an anti-pasta salad. Um, and that will pretty much last me throughout the week, if I'm being honest. And then maybe I can like treat myself to lunch Friday or Saturday. So let's go on ahead and write that in. All right, and then as far as dinners, let's go on ahead and put in all of our dinners. And then we will go over how I make my grocery list. All right, so we are all done with the spread. As you can see, everything looks good. I like the way everything turned out. And down here at this portion, all I'll do is just take note of anything that I need to prepare ahead of time. So for instance, the chicken noodle soup, I will definitely want to roast the chicken probably the night before. That way it can cool overnight and it'll be easy for me to shred it up and that'll just add an extra layer of deliciousness. Anywho, we are going to talk about grocery list making because the way I make my grocery list, um, I try not to buy or overbuy, I should say. I literally just get the items that I need for dinners. And then in the case that there are sales or like, you know, specific items that maybe I need to restock on, I will go through and like, you know, make note of all of those things. So let's just go like, you know, section by section. And as you can see, I went on ahead and pulled this baby out so I can put it up in there. But what I'm using is the shopping list paper pad. This is from the Happy Planner. It's already pre-punched, as you can see. It's just, it's perfect for me. All right, so let's talk about it. So we can actually keep this here as a reference. I always like starting with the um, dinners. So like if I need to buy any meats, I always like to start there. So it has a meat section. I need to get a whole chicken. Now I can't spell. So a whole chicken for the chicken noodle soup. The spaghetti with squash, I'll, I go back and forth between ground beef. We typically get a quarter cow from a local farmer in our area. We are currently out of ground beef. So what I'll do whenever we don't have ground beef already on hand from the farmer, we just use turkey, like ground turkey. So let's write that down. And that's one of the items, like if it's on sale, I will stock up on ground turkey. And then as far as the steak quesadillas, same thing. If I don't already have my own beef, I make sure to purchase grass-fed organic beef because 
I just find that it's a lot more lean, it's not as greasy, and I just feel better about, you know, supporting farmers that raise their cows in a more holistic manner. So let's go on ahead and put shaved steak, shaved beef. All right, so those are the things that I need for dinners. So that's out of the way. Um, I'll actually need some meat items for the anti-pasta salad. I'll have to double check my recipe, but I wanna say pepperoni for sure. So I'll get turkey pepperonis. Turkey pep, some salami. If I can get that turkey, I will get that turkey as well. I'm not opposed to eating pork, but I try not to eat it a lot. Um, and that's more recent. Before, I didn't eat any pork at all, but I mean, it just kind of is what it is at this point. So turkey peps, salami, and I want to say that that'll be pretty much it. Maybe some like honey roasted turkey. So let me put that. All right, and I will just on the side put deli. All right, so that's typically where I begin. And then as far as everything else, I just kind of fill in. So beverages, always like buying seltzer water. Need to buy more coffee. And I also want to get like seasonal creamer. So that's pretty much it for that. Let's put for bakery items, we need to buy more bread. Um. and tortillas for the quesadillas. All right, produce, let's see. So for steak quesadillas, I have rice and beans. Um, I have onions, I need to get bell pepper. Um, for spaghetti with squash. I have a squash that I wanna add in with the spaghetti. I have diced tomatoes. Definitely need to make sure I get at least three of the bell peppers because I'll use that in the spaghetti as well. So I'm good for vegetables as far as that's concerned. The chicken noodle soup will require me to use carrots, celery, onion. I'm trying to think. I think those are the main three vegetables. And then as far as herbs and everything like that, I have that out in the garden, most of those things over winter, but I also have dried herbs as well. And that's something that I always try to convince people that they can do. Grow your own herbs, it's so easy, even if it's just like the smallest of pots, you'd end up saving a lot of money just on those type of seasonings. Um, so I'm pretty much good there. I always keep celery and carrots in bulk in my refrigerator. Sometimes like if they're closer to going bad, then I will chop them up and like put them in like pre-portioned bags, which reminds me, I need to buy freezer bags. And more foil. And I want to start buying aluminum pans for Thanksgiving. All right, so let's go back to produce. Um, I know I have avocados. Like I said, I know I have onions. Um, I don't need any other vegetables for my dinner. The anti-pasta salad will, I'll need um, cucumber. And cherry tomatoes. and red onions, which I have at home. And then again, any herbs or anything I already have 
so I'm all good there. The pumpkin bisque, mm, excuse me. Um, I actually have a can of that or a jar of that, I should say. So I'm good there. And I did add, add that on later. So you guys didn't see me write that down. Oh, I've got paint on me. Me and my daughter were painting earlier. Anywho. Um, and then as far as brunch is concerned, I need to write down, I need to get more um, like sausage. So even though that's not a part of the meat, let's just put breakfast sausage I don't know what that says. I know it's kind of messy. Back to produce. So I think I'm good. Otherwise, I always like picking up bananas. The kids love bananas. More apples. Some oranges. And I have been wanting to eat some, um, how come I'm drawing a blank? Pomegranate. I love pomegranates and I don't know that I spelled that right. So don't come for me. Um, so produce, I think we're all good there. I may pick up some, actually, let me get some potatoes because I can definitely make potatoes for brunch and I just like having potatoes on hand and I'm all out right now. Also want to pick up some sweet potatoes. And let me think, let me think. I need to pick up some items for my baby's food as well, but I haven't meal prepped or meal planned that out yet as far as like the things that I wanna make for her. Um, I may just go based on the things that I'm already making for my family. So I don't know, I'll play around with that and I'll just add to the list as I need to. As far as canned and dried goods, I need to buy more beans, canned beans. I'm running low on that. That's something that I like to keep stocked up on. Uh, rice is also another one of those things and quinoa because I'm pretty low on all of those things. The grocery store has really been running low on rice and quinoa. So I highly recommend if you see a lot in your area, stock up on those type of things because I feel like we are coming into a season where people are beginning to hoard a little bit. I won't say hoard, more so just prepare for you know the worst case scenario things being cleared out etc so definitely pick up those things every single time you go to the store as well as like your dried pastas so i recently learned how to make my own pasta but i don't always have time for that so i like picking up the dried pasta because it just you know it's one of those things now for sunday dinner I will actually make my own noodles for that. Um, other than that, I think that's all I need. And then obviously I will shop the sales. So if there's anything that's a really good sale, I will stock up on those items. Um, as far as the freezer and the fridge, obviously milk and eggs is always a must. And we'll get shredded cheese and then cheese slices. The kids like making grilled cheese and things of that manner. I need to pick up more butter because with Thanksgiving coming up, I like to make sure I have plenty of butter for like any baked goods. I need to get evaporated milk. Okay, evaporated milk, coconut milk. Also, that's something that I like to keep stocked. And let's see. I think that's pretty much it. So obviously, I will go through my pantry at this point. If there's any additional things that I need to add on, I'll go 
to my family, hey, say, hey, do you guys need anything specific from the grocery store, anything that you want to pack for lunch, etc. And I'll add that to the list. But for the most part, this is how I prep for my shopping trip. And that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed seeing the full process, I'm more than willing to share every single week. Um, I'm thinking of doing it more vlog style moving forward. Today, I just look a hot mess, so I don't need to be on nobody's camera right now. But if you guys want to see that, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. I thank you all so much for stopping by. If you like the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, please hit it with a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. That way you're notified every single time I drop a new one. But that is it for now. So I thank you all again. I wish you health, wealth, and prosperity. And until the next time, peace out.